Hey guys, I'm the Coaster Keat, and today we are going to be using Plague Inc. in order to look at the coronavirus. Now, I believe that there's been a lot of information going around about this virus, and so I wanted to go ahead and take this time today to go ahead and show you what the coronavirus is, explain some of its symptoms, um, what's kind of been done what's been done regarding it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and play through this game using something as close to the coronavirus as we can and using the normal difficulty where 67.3% of people wash hands, doctors work three days a week, and sick people are ignored. Um, even though this is probably a kind of worst case scenario in terms of for the people, because at this point, I think everyone's kind of washing their hands. Doctors are definitely working more than three days a week and and sick people are definitely not going to be ignored. Now, for the name of this thing, it is important to know that, first of all, this isn't just a coronavirus. This is called the 2019 novel coronavirus, or commonly abbreviated to this. Um, this is because there have actually been two other uh, severe kinds of coronavirus, uh, one called the MERS coronavirus and the other called the SARS coronavirus, both of which had um, extreme effects on the world and on the population of people in the world. Um, both of those had deadly effects and so this one's of course being compared to them. So we're going to go ahead and start off here in Wuhan, China just as the coronavirus did. And what we're gonna do is we are going to play this game and as closely as we possibly can, um, go ahead and go through this process um, as the coronavirus. This means that whenever we randomly evolve a trait uh, other than one that the coronavirus is currently exhibiting, we are going to delete that trait um, it also means that we have, of course, started in the area of the coronavirus and we are going to spread via the ways the coronavirus has been known to spread. These ways being through coughing and also through livestock, but we're going to need a few more DNA points until we can evolve that capability. So the 2019 novel coronavirus um, spreads through livestock they say, or at least livestock is the closest equivalent we can get to in this game because it actually spread through camels, cattle, cats, and bats, and then crossed over to humans. And so then we have, we now believe that coronavirus can actually spread from human to human and that that is how it's been getting around. So we're going to go ahead and move into the livestock here. Another I'm going to go ahead and let them have sneezing uh, because that's a method to get to fever, which is another thing the coronavirus has. It causes coughing, a fever, shortness of breath. Those are the main symptoms of the coronavirus. Now, another thing I'd like to point out for this simulation is this is a game that is focused around the eradication of the world. and. So, the motivation in this game is, of course, opposite to that of the coronavirus. And everything here is going to be structured so that as a game, it can play well. And on the casual mode especially, it's trying to create a fun experience, so that is a factor. Regardless, you can see here that we are still stuck in China as of right now. Um, having very few ways of actually transmitting, it just doesn't go as far as it might want to. So we went ahead and we evolved pulmonary fibrosis. And while I'm not aware of the 2019 coronavirus causing pulmonary fibrosis, this is the closest we can get to that shortness of breath um, symptom that it does cause, so we're going to go ahead and keep that. We're also going to go ahead and evolve the fever, which means that we have all three of our symptoms for this, uh, it, which 
the the main symptoms, which are coughing, pulmonary fibro, or sorry, coughing, shortness of breath, and fevers, which are the typical symptoms. And then for our extremer sy- symptoms, we have pneumonia over here. It can also cause severe acute respiratory syndrome which is something that we don't really have a good equivalent of here, and kidney failure. So those two things we're going to go ahead, we're not going to be able to have a good equivalent for. All right, we went ahead and we spread to India, which is progress. We're also in Russia. So we're making a little bit of progress around the world now. But one important thing to note is this virus. So it is currently 171 days since infection. So it's been roughly half a year. And we still have not seen any reports um, from the WHO or anything like that on the virus in this game. It has not been flagged yet, which is important. All right, China is now going ahead and investigating the disease. First person died, and we also evolved a symptom that we do not have, so I'm going to have to go ahead and find that. Uh, da, da, da. There it is, nausea. All right, we went ahead, we got rid of nausea. Should be good to go again. No. You can see how in the developed countries, of course, their medicine is slowing the infection, whereas China is currently being just inundated by the virus. Expected to take a long time. People dying in China faster than being infected. China shut down airports. And we still have the infections going ahead and spreading because action was not taken very quickly. We also still in-game have not successfully had a who talk about this we have not had a global effort to address the issue and that is part of why it's getting so bad so quickly it has now been 269 days from the first infection so we're getting closer and closer to our first year Alaska became part of Canada, as we all knew was going to happen. And we're going ahead and continuing to spread around. Now, another thing that you need to know is, in this game, one of the mechanics... Oh, immune suppression, that's not good. One of the mechanics of this game is that... Go ahead and devolve that... One of the mechanics in this game is that diseases are not noticed unless they are lethal, which kind of um, is similar to the way that it works in real life. However, in our situation, we have not had this many people die, not even, not even close, um, before everyone jumped on the issue. It took very few deaths. There it is. Finally reached the watch list. That took forever. So we reached the WHO watch list um, around a year. It took us an entire year to reach the WHO watch list in this playthrough, which is something to keep in mind. We now have the global cure effort going out. So we're going to go ahead and, oh, we evolved another symptom, which we do not want because we do not have anemia. Do not have any sort of that thing. Go ahead and keep progressing. The cure is going. You can see that China is experiencing the worst of it, but still over half, about a good chunk of their population is still alive. We now got the sweating mutation. Gonna go ahead and take that out. Because again, not there. Pop the bubbles to evolve things that we don't need to evolve. Oh, and we should give it the benefit of the doubt and go ahead and evolve livestock too, saying that it has the worst possible 
there, and we'll go ahead and give it birds instead of bats. Since bats do not exist in this game. And now we're gonna see which works faster. Oh, not the sis. <laughs> go ahead and take away the sis. There are all of these things that can all create devastation. Um, and the 2019 novel coronavirus doesn't have any of these. Okay, they can't seem to understand the mutation patterns. We got cysts again, we need to de-evolve that. It is important to note also that viruses do evolve relatively quickly. So, oh no, we got total organ failure, hold on. And so it is possible that the virus would evolve a new ability. However, I do not have that information, so I'm not going to simulate that. Cure is 25% complete. It keeps trying to get total organ failure, um, which is just... We do not need total organ failure. We do not have total organ failure. If there was just kidney failure, that would be a different thing, but they keep going for total organ failure, and that is not what we have here. We've actually spread into Greenland, which is a bit of a surprise. Mutated sweating. It's just a fight against the evolution of this thing, as it keeps trying to become something that I don't want it to be. But I think that the world's cure is on its way to making this eradicated. In the world, we have currently killed just over a hundred thousand people. Mostly do. Stop that. To random mutation of dangerous traits. And the, um... And... <laughs> Random mutation of dangerous traits, and the fact that doctors are con took so long to notice it, which again has not happened in the real world. So we are going to go ahead and see this through. Immune suppression, have to get rid of that. Fight in the game here to try and give an example that it does not want to give. Go ahead and devolve that. Killed more than the Spanish flu. 75% on the cure. Got total organ failure again. Have to get rid of that. Let's go ahead and give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's say that it's become drug resistant. And that it is now hard to cure. 84, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. Got the rash symptom. Have to go ahead and devolve the rash symptom yet again. Hey. There we go. And there's the cure. Cure will now be spread. Which brings our grand death toll. I'll let that happen. Just as this finishes. We managed to kill... So, in 691 days, we killed <laughs> very few people um, relative to what we could have. As you can see, we were able to manage to spread due to the lack of communication from WHO and various effects. So does this mean that in our real world this is what's going to happen? Um, that hundreds of millions of people are going to die because of the novel coronavirus? No. That's not what this means at all. And I think it's important to discuss the reasons why.
The novel coronavirus was first discovered on the 31st of December 2019. It took roughly two months for it to get a meeting from the World Health Organization, um, one which concluded on January 30th. So one complete month for that response. In game, it took us an entire year to get a global response to this. And another important thing to consider is the total number of people currently infected by uh, by the corona by the novel coronavirus. We as of right now, according to Business Insider two year two hours ago, we had 304 people that were killed by it and 14,400 infected. Compared to the numbers that we had at a month for our simulation, this is minuscule. This is nowhere near the hundreds of thousands of people that we had infected at that point and the hundreds, like the thousands of people that we had killed at that point. This is a result of the communication that we have had with people about the, corona, the novel 2019 coronavirus. It's a result of the cooperation between governments. It's a result of the hard work of doctors. And it's a result of us all cooperating as people. Um, it's because we're washing our hands, because we're reporting the fact that we've traveled to certain areas, because we're all on top of making sure that this thing doesn't do more than it should. As of right now, it is highly sad and just horrible to think about the 304 people that have died because of it. However, this rate here is not that high. 304 people out of 14,400 people that have been found to have this virus. That's about a 2% lethality rate. The lethality rate of the flu is the lethality rate of the flu has gone anywhere from 0.1% to 20%, meaning that the flu definitely kills more people than the novel coronavirus. And so we as a species should not be as concerned about this as we are. Yes, it is scary because it's something different that we hadn't heard of. The term coronavirus in and of itself brought up so much um, paranoia in the public because it's a term that so many of us haven't heard before. All of us that didn't grow up with the scares associated with MERS or SARS, uh, when we suddenly hear this new coronavirus term, feel like the world is coming to an end when, quite frankly, it's not. It's just another virus, and yes, it's highly, highly unfortunate that so many people have been affected by it, but it is very unlikely to affect you, especially if you live in a developed country like America or the UK or any pretty much any European country you are probably going to be fine because this has been so well contained. The people with the virus have been found, they are being placed in rooms where they will not infect other people. We are working on cures with China currently. The WHO has made sure that everyone is working together on this cure. And overall, it shouldn't be too long before this whole thing is just a little footnote in the history of coronaviruses gone to die with the cases of MERS and SARS, which only people studying such things will ever get to hear about. So overall, I hope that this showed you a little bit of perspective on how the coronavirus, even in an environment which was supposed to make it 
fun, I suppose, to infect people. An environment created so that you could infect more people. It failed even there. Even there, it wasn't able to kill that many people. And the reasons why were the personal hygiene, the fact that people weren't washing their hands, the fact that dirt doctors weren't working hard, the fact that there wasn't communication between countries. And now, with all the publicity that this is getting, the only good thing that this is doing is it's making sure everyone washes their hands. Everyone is making their precautions so that they won't get infected by coronavirus. Everyone is reporting if they think they might be so that they can be taken out of the picture. And everyone is cooperating on a global scale to deal with this epidemic that, on a, quite honestly, will probably be gone soon. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope that you all soar high and enjoy your ride of life. And stay healthy. Bye!